Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. Alhamdulillahirabbil alamin. Wassalatu wassalamu ala asrafil anbiya wal mursalin wa ala alihi wa sahbi ajmain. Alhamdulillah. First and foremost, let us express our gratitude to Allah Subhanahu wa ta'ala for giving us the opportunity to continue our life with iman, with Islam, and also the pleasure of Allah Subhanahu wa ta'ala. Alhamdulillah, we are now in the day 17 of Ramadan. And inshallah, in day 17, we will review, we will study, we will recite the Quran on Juz 17, comprised of Surah al anbiya from verse 1 until 112, and Surah al hajj verse 1 until 78. The main theme of al anbiya from the name of the surah itself is about prophets and the prophethood. And a hajj, the main theme is about faith, which is we need to uh, continue to firm our faith to support the truth and to eradicate the evil. And from this, uh, lessons that we could obtain from just number 17, we can relate to uh, management with the devotion. In management, organizations comprised of managers and employees, they will work together to attain the goals of the organization. Therefore, the lesson that we can learn from Ramadan into management, the first principle or the first lesson is about determination and dynamic. The environment is so dynamic, a lot of complexities and also changes, but that determination must be there, which is the reasons for the organization to exist, the purpose. The purpose will, it will be continued and need to be determined despite the dynamic changes. Number two is about the engagement. The managers and employees must engage in the in the transactions, in the, in the tasks that already agreed in order to achieve the goal of organization. And also to engage with stakeholders that, that have impact to the organizations. Number three elements, management is to get things done with efficiency and effectiveness. Therefore, they are aims for the victory or al-fala in this world and also in the hereafter. And both parties must be obedient. Okay? The fourth element is, is to obey the rules and regulation. In the context of Islam, it's about, about taqwa. Being obedient means you have the taqwa. The most important element that management is trust. Uh, employees trust the managers, managers trust the employees. This reciprocal and mutual trust will lead to further mutual cooperation in organization beyond the transactions. I is about innovation in the complexity, in the changes require new proposition and new remedies for the pain that suffered by the people need to have innovation to offer new product and services to remain relevant in the industry and also in the society. And O is about outcomes or the results that have been put into the activities. And lastly, management is not about just the object, but about the people, which is the concept of nurturing, tarbia, and also to build the civilization in human self and also the society. May Allah bless. Wa billahi tafi'idaya. Wassalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh.